In today's video, we've got yet another debit card review, the Target Red Card. There are different versions of this, but one of them is a debit card. It actually comes with some pretty nice perks and rewards and no monthly fees. So let's jump in. Okay, the first thing to note about the Target Red Card is it provides a 5% discount at Target in store and online. Not technically cashback, but just as good if not better, because that 5% never even leaves your wallet. It's just straight up 5% savings on the purchase price. I should mention this debit card only works at Target. The 5% applies to most items, but obviously there are some stipulations. Like it can't be used on prescriptions, normal gift cards, eye exams, that kind of thing. But it does come with some other nice benefits, like two day free shipping at target.com. You don't even have to pay a membership fee like with Amazon Prime. You'll also get an extra 30 days in the return period, which is not insignificant. You'll get 5% savings at Target Starbucks, which is saying something because it seems like all those special Starbucks don't take any discounts or coupons or anything. You'll save 5% on some specialty gift cards for travel, restaurants, and movie tickets. And you'll even save 5% on same day grocery delivery. Better yet, you can add an authorized user to your account and they'll get their own red card with their own name on it. Perfect for your spouse or someone else that you may share some expenses with or someone else with whom you share expenses. <sighs> Almost ended that sentence in a preposition. Now, how does this thing actually work? Now it is a debit card, yes, but it actually links up with your existing checking account, which is awesome because that means that when you spend with it at Target, you don't have to think, do I have enough money in my target account to cover this? Did I move money over? Rest assured, the only thing you have to worry about is if you have enough money in your bank account. But I legitimately like this feature because that means you don't have to sign up for another checking account. When you pay with your red card, it just processes the purchase through your checking account within one to three days via an ACH transfer. Now, keep in mind, this will not prevent you from overdrafting your account. So be well aware of what your balance is. And if target determines that there isn't enough money in your account to cover the purchase, then your card usage will be suspended until until you can pay it back. Now here's the fun part, the target debit card agreement. I wanted to read this since this isn't a debit card that comes from a bank account with traditional bank security and assurances. And so I could provide you with the most information about this card possible. So target does have fraud protection. Under their section about unauthorized usage, they say this. If you tell us within four business days after you learn of the loss or theft of your card, card number or pin, you can lose no more than $50 if someone used your card card number or pin without your permission. And they continue by saying, if you do not tell us within four business days after you learn of the loss or theft of your card, card number or pin, and we can prove that you could have stopped someone from using your card, card number, or PIN without your permission if you had told us, you could lose as much as $500. The key is letting Target know immediately if something happens to your card that may result in unauthorized usage. If there's fraud, don't wait to tell them because according to the agreement, you have to let them know at once. But the good news is if you happen to look at a bank statement and find out that there was fraud within 90 days, you can let Target know immediately and they'll take care of it. So just make sure you're looking at your transactions regularly, which you should be doing anyways. It is important to note that there is a fee associated with a returned EFT. So for example, if you buy something at Target with your red card and they find out that you don't have enough money in your bank account to cover the purchase, that's considered a returned payment because Target didn't get their money. And you'll be assessed a returned payment fee depending on your state. We live in Ohio, so it's up to $30. It's basically their version of an overdraft fee. So be careful because you could get an overdraft fee from your bank and you could get one from Target, yikes. Overall, I actually think this is a great debit card. Before they changed the cashback that they offer, our Juno debit card actually gave us 5% cashback on any Target purchases, which we did use. I mean, come on, we have a baby. But now at least we can save 5% at Target again. I know I'm basically shooting myself in the foot, giving Bailey even more reason to shop at Target. Or Target, as I hear it called sometimes. The cool thing is Target might actually have a sign up offer for you. When I signed up recently, the debit card actually came with a coupon where you could get $40 off your purchase of $40 or more. Now I have no idea if they'll have an offer if you sign up, but it's free $40. Now, if you're interested in more reviews of FinTech, budget apps, and cashback debit cards, then subscribe. And watch this video next for the best cashback debit cards of 2016. 2016. The best cashback debit cards of 2023, where I tried 16.